full time at the Carlisle grounds and it's finished Bray Wanderers 2, Athlone Town 2. Crazy game in truth, really. Both sides can feel hard done by in some ways. Um, Bray started the game the better side and had much of the possession in the first 10, 15 minutes, but it was Athlone who took the lead. Some brilliant play, um, build up from the back, saw them get a shot off. Um, the ball was parried out by goalkeeper Matthew Connor. Um, Cole Moher won and uh, Piro contested it. Uh, it looked like a foul from Piro, to be honest, but the referee, um, Patchell, deemed otherwise and pointed at the spot to give Athlone a penalty. Piro himself stepped up to take it and uh, slotted it past the break keeper to give Athlone the lead. Um, Bray actually continued probably the better side throughout the second half without cre- uh, the first half uh, without creating many chances. But then the game uh, had another twist. Uh, Bray were down to 10 men in the 36th minute. Dave Webster, Bray's other centre half, um, misplaced the pass. Uh, Aaron Connolly, the Athlone captain, intercepted it and the ball bounced loose. The boat players dived in. Uh, on the ground, but uh, Dave Webster, it did look a little high. Replays did show, though, actually, that um, he did get the ball, but the referee, um, with the help of that lone bench and the fourth official, um, brandished a straight red, and Dave Webster was off, and Bray were now down to 10. Going into the second half, Bray huffed and puffed and didn't show much for the first 20 minutes, but then, after getting a free kick out on the, right, uh, the left-hand side, Darren Craven whipped it in, missed everyone. Chris Lyons, maybe... <laughs> could have got a touch. It didn't really look like it, but he cla- there was there was claims he could have. Um, Minogue missed it completely, and Bray were level out of nowhere. And then even more extraordinarily, Bray took the lead only ten minutes later. Craven once again involved. This time winning a penalty, an upstep Chris Lyons, and he slotted it uh, into the bottom corner to give Bray a remarkable two one lead considering the circumstances. Uh, Bray now. Uh, but Bray, they shot themselves in the foot no less than five minutes later. Cole and Morhamon picking up his second yellow for an off-the-ball incident. Bray's both centre-half uh, were sent off. It's the second time in less than three weeks that Bray's uh, two centre-halves have been sent off in the same game. Um, so Bray now had 15 minutes of torture ahead of them, and they defended really well throughout it, though, but came unstuck in the 92nd minute. Corner whipped in. Lamatu- uh, Lam- Lam- Lamcatugo... Uh, the substitute um, headed in at the near post, the bullet header, and Athlone were level. Mental game here and through. Um, it finished Bray Wanderers 2, Athlone 2.